Really, there are two types of businesses, the unicorns versus the cockroaches, which is exactly what we talked about back episode 83, real estate, the cyclical nature, who will survive, the article asks. As always, the less glamorous but very hardy cockroaches. Cockroaches have outlasted doomsday asteroids, the dinosaur extinctions. They can live for six weeks without food. They are not choosy about what they eat. They don't need sugar, which insects crave. They can subsist on grease, hair, glue. They lack glamour, are ugly, unassuming. You usually don't see them. They move fast, which is exactly what Shane mentioned about the TGP, their business model, good times versus bad times, and why they always fail, leading those who follow them to slaughter. Now, the article states they will have to lay off staff, move their pricey downtown office to unsexy exurbs, pivot into revenue-generating business models, kill projects going nowhere, live with less, which sounds a lot like real estate agents circa 2008. Of course, the punchline of the article, the age of the unicorns is ending, but the age of the cockroaches is beginning all hail but my question is is apple a cockroach what about whole foods is whole foods a cockroach regardless of market conditions will apple will whole foods will they have to cut lay people off live with less or will their audience continue to show up support them through the good times and bad look at apple despite the tech crash of the early 2000s when they were teetering on bankruptcy And despite the financial crash of 2008-9, which destroyed many companies, in less than 15 years, Apple became the most valuable company in the world. How is this possible? The obvious conclusion, they didn't behave as a cockroach. They didn't lay people off. They didn't conserve. They didn't need to. And while other companies closed their doors, Apple customers, their cult, the loyal customer base of Whole Foods, their audience, continued to show up to buy. Which is why I made that statement. The objective of everything you do should be geared toward building a tight-knit community, not making a sale. And to create culture and to sustain culture, you have to create content.